hanging around out in the barn. I go get her room. She said there wasn't any room. Then I throw somebody out. I tell them I've got this baby. It's the middle of winter, so I had to get out or move over. I go. I'd send an angel after him. She just point her electric finger and turn him to a pile of ashes. Yeah. Blech. What's the name of this play anyway? She never said. Christmas pattern. That's no name. That's what it is. I know a name. I know a name. I'd call it for them just that. <laughs> <laughs>
So I want you to go where you're supposed to be, and we're going to start with the shepherds. Now, Maxine, just read the last few words. Shepherds, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Music, shepherds. <laughs> and an angel of the Lord appeared to them. Mad 
too. And the whole 88 society was happy. And Reverend Hawkins said, well, he didn't know what to think. I cannot make heads or tails of it. Some people say they set fire to the ladies' room. Some people say they set fire to the kitchen. Vera Waltkin can says all they do is talk about underwear. Oh, that was Bobby Clark talking about underwear. And they didn't set fire to anything. The only fire was in the kitchen because the applesauce cake burned up. Well, the whole church is in the uproar. I don't know. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. But I don't think he meant the herdsmen. <laughs> don't you think we should cancel the pageant? I bet that was Helen Armstrong's idea. We could blame it on the fire. It would make a good excuse. I bet that was Edna McCarthy's idea. Everybody seems to think it's going to be a... a... Disaster? Well, they're wrong. It's going to be the best Christmas pageant we've ever had. But Grace, I don't think anyone will come to see it. I didn't think so either. And neither did Charlie. But we were wrong. On Christmas Eve, the church was jammed full. Everybody came. Just to see what the heart 